Hey, how you doing? Dave here. I am in Louisville, Kentucky. Lou Louisville, however you like to say it. I'm in my hotel. I'm actually in the atrium of my hotel. And I'm here in Louisville helping out a couple bar owners run a better bar. But I wanted to get out a video to the barman tribe while I'm here. I brought my green screen. The lighting's not very good, so it's a little fuzzy. You'll have to bear with it. But I wanted to get it out anyway, so I went ahead and did it. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Today, I'm going to give you the five best bars for beginners to bartend at. And we're going to do it right now. Let's do this. What's up? Dave Allred, The Real Barman here. Welcome to another electrifying episode. And before we get going, I want you to know that I am fully aware that the title of this video ends in a preposition, but they say that's okay now. So all of you English majors getting ready to clack away on your keyboards and send me grammar correcting and judgmental emails, don't do it. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you and I can hang out all the time and correct each other's grammar in other ways. Okay, onward and upward. Today we're talking about the best places to work if you're a beginner and you're getting into bartending because I know it can be overwhelming if you've been wanting to pull that trigger but you're just not sure. And one of your questions is, where do I even start? You know, where do I hand in resumes? Which bars do I go to? And which bars have the best chance at me landing a job and for me learning the ropes? Now, when I first decided to go for it, when I finally decided to go for it, I was a server at Claim Jumper and I hated it. All right, well, I don't want to say I hated it. I mean, I appreciate that I had a job and I was making money. And, nah, I hated it. All right, I had to wear this bolo tie and this long black apron it made me feel foolish. It was a bad tipping clientele. It just wasn't a good situation. And a buddy of mine told me that they might be hiring for bartending at P.F. Chang's. And so the first thing I thought was, no way, right? I had no confidence because I had no experience and I thought that they'd want someone that had like 10 years experience and I thought I'd be going up against like dozens of people who had 10 years experience and so I wasn't even gonna do it, which is stupid, right? Because if you don't do it, you have a 0% chance of getting the job. All right, in my mind, I had like a 5% chance, which wasn't even true, I had a better chance than that, but even so, 5% is still better than 0%, right? So I won't go into the complete story here, we'll save that for another time, but after forcing myself, actually after my friend forced me to turn in a resume, I got a call for an interview, which shocked me. And then a couple days later, I got a call for a second interview and I thought I was like on a hidden camera show or something because why would they call, be calling me? I had no bartending experience. And then a couple days later, boom, I'm hired, I'm a bartender and I get trained and I'm making $300 a night. All right, it, it was a little more drawn out than that. But my point being, where would I be now if I didn't sack up and I never walked into that P.F. Chang's because of the heavy doubts I had or the limited beliefs I had that I wasn't good enough or that I had no experience or that I kept picturing what might go wrong. All right, I tell you where I'd be. I'd be sitting on my couch playing Madden and I'd still be working as a server at Claim Jumper wearing that damn bolo tie. Here's the deal. People who are too frightened to go after something that scares them are going to live a very mediocre life. And I don't want that to be you. All right, here's the deal. You are going to fail in life. You're going to fail a lot. All right. I myself, I failed like 6,279 times and counting. But what you need to realize is that when you go after something and you don't get it, it's not failure. It's learning. If you go into an interview and you bomb it, all right, and you don't land the job, you now have some experience. All right. You can correct it. You can see what you did wrong. You can correct it. And now you go and do it again. You're a little bit better. And then you fail again and you learn more, and you do it again, and you fail, and you learn more until you get what you want. You're not tallying up your life failures, you're gaining life experience. You might already know this, but it took Thomas Edison more than 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb. And after he succeeded, you know, people come up to him and be like, Thomas, how did you after 9,999 times have the balls, to, they probably didn't say balls, they probably said, how did you have the gumption to try again knowing that you might fail 10,000 times? And Thomas Edison replied, I didn't fail 10,000 times, I found 10,000 ways that it didn't work. You see the difference there? All right, every successful person you could ever name on the planet has failed hundreds of times. All right, banal, mediocre people, fail very little because they're too scared to go after what they really want or they go after it and they fail a couple times and they just quit. 
Okay, we got a little off track there. Well, I got a little off track there. I'm the one blabbing. So enough on life lessons. Let's get to the bartender specific lessons and the five best places for a beginner to start working. What you need to understand here is there are so many bars out there. There are as many different types of bars as there are breeds of dogs. So you only need one in order to get your foot in the door and get some experience. Number one, corporate or chain restaurants. All right, I'm talking about places like Chili's or Cheesecake Factory or Applebee's. These are great places to start because not only are you not expected to be able to come in and flip bottles around or craft an amazing, you know, rosemary gin infused julep. Sorry, that was the fanciest cocktail I could think of off the top of my head. But not only that, they have excellent training programs at these corporate places. In addition, chain restaurants have a very high turnover rate, which means people are leaving all the time. So if you can handle whatever uniform they put you in and you don't mind singing birthday songs as a team at the table, this is my number one place to start. Number two, any other restaurant that has a bar, all right? And that means corporate or not. I like any restaurant with a bar. It could be an Italian place, a Mexican place, a gastropub that serves food. And the reason I like it is because there's more focus on the food side and the bar side isn't often considered like a specialty cocktail bar where the, there might be more professionals there, which means there's better turnover rate. So this is good for you. You don't have to know as much. And don't send me angry emails because I'm fully aware that some of the best bars in the world are inside of restaurants. I just mean you want to find a family style or like a mom and pop restaurant where you can get your foot in the door and gain some experience. Number three, sports bars. Again, this is a casual, friendly atmosphere where the focus is more on watching a ball cross a line or go through a metal circle than highly complicated cocktails. The most popular beverage at a sports bar is usually going to be beer and everyone knows how to get people a Coors Light. All right, even if they do order cocktails, it's usually very simple. It's like a Jack and Coke, a vodka soda. So when you're heading out to hand in resumes, make sure you hit up plenty of sports bars. Number four, hotel bars. Now, I understand that hotel bars aren't considered like the sexiest bars to work at, but they are under the radar and most people don't think of them when they're first becoming a bartender. So they're a good place to kind of niche and hunt down in the beginning. It's another place that has a high turnover rate because once you gain some experience there, you're probably moving on to a place that's more mainstream. Because remember, that's the key here to get your foot in the door. This is the magic pill. Gain some experience, and then you can ladder up to better and better places. Plus, you'll have a great, you know, where did you begin, begin story. So when you're finally at that place that you're making a truckload of money, you have a where did you begin story, all right? People begin at a dive bar or a hotel bar or someplace. You know, me, I was at Claim Jumper wearing that damn bolo tie as a server, but I moved on to P.F. Chang's and better things. There's nothing like a great where did you begin story. And finally, at number five, we have dive bars. Now, dive bars can be a little tricky, which is why I have them at number five, because there's some pros and cons. Dive bars are great because they're not very stringent about how they make their drinks. Uh, they don't really like mixologists or craft cocktail bars because they think they're snobs. So the drinks there are probably going to be pretty simple or you're going to serve beers. So it's a very easy place to serve. Now, the downside of a dive bar is they probably won't have a very good training program. They might even teach you how to make, make drinks incorrectly. And then in addition, they probably had bartenders there since the Reagan administration. So the turnover is not very high, which makes it a little more difficult to get your foot in the door. But with that said, there's so many different bars out there, different types of bars, including dive bars, that you need to just get your resume out there and just try as much as you can. Plus, dive bars can often be very fun to work at. They're often music venues or they're sports bars, Irish pubs, and so on and so forth. Now, those are the top five bars, in my opinion, for beginners to get going, but you shouldn't stop there. You should go to any and all bars you can to get your foot in the door. That includes nightclubs, casinos, cruise ships, pubs, and on and on. Of course, a nightclub can be a great place to work. I didn't list it in the top five because they can be very fast paced, so you should gain some experience before you head there or not. All right, I'm not going to limit you, and you shouldn't limit yourself either. You should just take action and go for it. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you soon and that you become part of the Barman Tribe so you can start making a lot of money and live that rock star lifestyle. Of course, at any time, you can go to therealbarman.com and download the seven steps to becoming a bartender to jumpstart you and get you going. I will see you next time. I'm out.